Hey everyone, today we are at Beaver Lake. Not frozen at all. Today is May 28th, 2023. I came out here to do an update. There is still a good amount of snow in the forest. I'm just gonna give you a little bit more detailed look at the place since I just posted a short on my main channel. I'm gonna show you a little more in depth. Also, I am wearing a hard hat today. I usually don't wear one. But I decided to get one after the logging company that I do a lot of uncloggings for said they'd feel better if I did have one. And when I first put it on, I was like, this thing's heavy. I'm going to get a tougher neck by wearing this thing all the time. You know what? I've been wearing it for a day and I forgot it's even there. It doesn't bother me. And you see the black thing on the top of it? That is so I can put a headlamp on there. And I can basically put any headlamp I didn't want to buy the, the hard hat that came with the headlamp. They had one at the Home Depot, but it requires you to change out triple A's. I'd rather buy ones online that I can recharge over and over again. Just like you ever go in Walmart's flashlight section, almost everything they sell, you need to replace triple A's or double A's. Almost none of them are rechargeable, and I think that's because a store wants to keep making money off you. So you have to keep buying batteries from them. Or... When you buy them online, those sellers know you're probably not coming back, so why even inconvenience you? Well, I think it looks kind of cool. Anyways, let me show you around the area. So, I've been showing a lot of videos lately of us unclogging things with melting snow. This area has certainly had melting snow. This far north, there was three feet of snowpack on the ground only about a month ago. It's been pretty warm. There's still some patches if we walk in the forest there. There's a bigger patch right there. There's like 18 inches and almost the entire trail has a good amount of snow pack. It's having trouble there melting because people compacted it with their feet. So when we first discovered this place, we unclogged it. Oh, there's some ducks that came over to visit. Look at them guys. Nice. Anyways. Soon after we first discovered this place and started unclogging it, a sign went up from the National Forest Service. It was just a piece of paper with a... It wasn't even laminated paper. It was like in a plastic sleeve. Anyways, it got messed up pretty fast. They just put another sign here that is actually laminated, and they put like a little roof over the top of it. You see that there? Attention hikers, dam across... Trail across dam closed until further notice. Anyways... It's kind of cool that they actually put a more official looking sign up now with a little roof and everything. We're not going to go across it. We're just going to show you what's underneath it. Anyways, I was here right before winter time, before this thing froze solid. I came here right after the big trip I made showing you things across the country and nothing. I was, wasn't here for almost three months and, well, I was only on the trip for six weeks, but I was three months out from being here beavers built back absolutely nothing now i'm back in the spring absolutely nothing is put underneath this bridge look at that nothing nothing has been built here for like the past eight months but look at that giant pile downstream that's us doing almost a dozen cloggings here over the years the first time we ever came water was spilling over right there where the dam's all destroyed the whole reason this dam is destroyed in the first place is because right now is where the water level is supposed to be. The beavers brought it up almost three feet higher. That's why you see the big bathtub ring and erosion ring around the entire place. Yeah, a lot of people think this is just a pond, but it's actually labeled as a lake. Look at the ducks diving down now. Eat something. Oh, that one, oh there they go again. No, but this place is actually labeled a lake. But what happens is when the beavers made the water abnormally high where it wasn't supposed to be. In the winter time, in this climate, water can freeze two or three feet thick. As water freezes, it expands into the dam, smashing it, making it crumble. And this is a small dam. And they have a pretty good access road. All they would have to do is temporarily remove the pedestrian bridge. And all they have to do is put something a big truck can drive across, which is pretty easy. You can put a logging bridge in in only a couple hours. I've seen it done. And they could easily put a prefabricated dam here in less than a week. Easily could be done. It could easily be done. 
And that bridge right there has always been pretty rickety too. I've been coming to this place since I was like a five-year-old with my grandpa hiking around this place. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. Nice cold climate. Anyways, the beavers, I think, were relocated. Something happened to them. They're not rebuilding, or the park service is just taking great notice to this after many reports from me. And maybe reports from other people who know where this place is. I don't know, but something's going on. There has not been a blockage here in quite a while. So, because of that, we'll probably check on it at the end of the summer, but I'm not going to keep doing periodic checks on it. I remember years ago, there used to be a little lookout deck right there. Not anymore. I remember, even since I was a tiny little kid, I remember this whole place was flooding. So that has had decades worth of crumbling happening to it. But we're going to walk down the trail a little bit. Beavers even put a little blockade here. Some of this packed snow is pretty slippery. But anyways, that sign back there is most likely just for legal reasons. They don't want the trouble of someone trying to sue them. If somebody steps on the wrong piece of concrete, it shifts and they go into the water and get hurt or whatever happens on there. They just don't want the liability. Right here, there's still a good, I'm not sinking far, but it looks like a good 18 inch hump of snow going on. But even if somebody did get hurt there, this state, it would be pretty hard trying to sue them. But if it was a place like Massachusetts, they don't have the best laws. Any idiot can try to get rich there, and they might even win. Look how crystal clear the water is. That is nice and beautiful. The discharge of the dam meets up with this. Only about 150 feet down there is where they meet up. Yeah, so the only obstacle for them putting a new dam in um, is this bridge right here. I imagine back in the day they probably had a better bridge. This thing here would not hold a heavy truck, but it looks like they could probably pick it up and put it back in about one piece. Other than that, to get their trucks in here, they're going to have to do a lot of trimming here. I could probably drive my car down here. It's already pretty scratched up and I don't really care about it too much. I drive down trails like this all the time, old abandoned logging roads and, but a big truck, it's probably gonna have to run over some of this stuff, especially because of their length, not being able to make the corners and stuff. But a little bit further up here, there is a couple big I-beams actually blocking the road, which may have been from an old bridge that a truck could actually go across. I'll show you that in just a moment. The access road keeps going straight, but the trail goes this way for some reason. I really don't know why. It goes through some mud where they never put a culvert in. While this stays nice and dry, the trail and the access road both meet up in a couple hundred feet. I have no idea why, but I'm gonna show you a couple culverts on the way back. And as you can tell by the packed snow, Everybody's taking the access road, which is significantly shorter anyways. You see right off to the side, all the dribbling water from the drainage ditch of the old access road, just going across that trail. There are a couple culvert pipes here. There's a good amount of groundwater right now moving around. And here's one of the culvert pipes. I believe there's two that are heavily noticeable. You see nothing blocking it. In fact, all the leaves and stuff are just helping slow it down. Further up here, I think there may be one more. No, I guess not. This place is really nice. Look how the ferns are just able to stay green like that underneath the snow all winter. It's kind of interesting. All right, now we're down at the end of the access road. The only snow left on it is what people packed with their feet. Few patchy areas here in the woods. There's not super deep snow packed like the 18 inches I showed you, just because. There's no evergreens here. The evergreens are what keep the forest really dark and cold, but here's the I-beams blocking the end of the access road. What do you think? Could this have been used at some point for getting over that river? Maybe. Why else would they be out here? Also, what do you guys think of this tree? 
This tree right here I'm noticing looks all burnt. I guess it was just the angle. Maybe it's not burnt. It looked like it from back there. I don't think it was. I think it's just wet. And right here, you see here's the other trail. It just meets right back up. Right here's a pretty cool structure. That's just marking where the trail goes. I'm now leaving the access road because they don't have a parking lot or anything. I parked down this trail maybe about a half a mile or so. I can show you a cool couple of structures out here which I think are old foundations from buildings. Today's a pretty good day. Nice and cool. Actually, earlier today, there was it, was... it snowed for a little while, but it didn't stick to the ground or anything. It melted immediately. Yeah, last week... Not last week. Two weeks back, this area had a stretch of 80-degree weather. All of northern New England had 80-degree weather for, like five days straight which is extremely unusual for up here where it's this time of year we're supposed to just be in like the 50s for highs we're supposed to be very cold every night still getting frost that was an unusual stretch of weather now we're back to normal i know southern new england got some places hit 90 that day that's unheard of for the middle of april now we're about to hit may so it's not as unusual but still prefer this kind of weather for working never get sweating in it so here's what i was just telling you about see this looks like it may have been a foundation maybe a septic tank i don't know you see how it has some kind of it looks like a clay pipe leaving it and if we walk right over next to it there's also a like this one, it's not as noticeable, but this one you can clearly see the stone foundation of whatever it was. And right there, there's a whole bunch of metal stakes coming out of the ground. And if you look, this is that same river. If we look over there, you see that metal railing next to it? There's a weird metal railing next to it. But that's about all I'm going to show today. I hope this little explanation was interesting, everyone. Thanks for watching and have a good day.